on behalf of Pi Mathematics Association, we welcome you sir. Uh, nowadays there are many misconceptions about Ramanujan spreading on social media. Can you clarify those points sir? Yes, sure. Uh, it is my privilege and uh, foremost duty to clarify and uh, demystify those ideas about Ramanujan. Thank you sir. Thank you. To start with the first question, Ramanujan failed in 10th class, is that true sir? No, actually it is not true. He passed his 10th class with distinction in fact. He failed in fact in his FA exams which is uh, called first examination in arts. In those days, first examination in arts was considered to be equal to current days uh, 11th and 12th class. So what we call higher secondary class of today. In fact, he wrote the FA exam thrice, three times, which was the maximum possible attempts for any student. Unfortunately, because of his complete interest towards mathematics, he could not uh, clear the other papers and therefore he failed in FA exams on all three occasions. Okay, sir. Is that a true Ramanujan solved any problem in mathematics? No, to be frank, Ramanujan, Leoway Ramanujan, not any mathematician can solve or can know anything about mathematics. Mathematics is a so huge subject and huge discipline that no single person in this world can solve any problem or know about all the things in mathematics. It is never possible. In fact, Ramanujan was a master in producing more formulas in number theory, but I don't think he can, he does the, he did anything apart from number theory like solving problems in differential equations or modeling mathematical modeling and addressing real life problems. So in those aspects, he has not done many things. So it is not certainly true that Ramanujan can solve any problem in mathematics. Okay, sir. Next question is that whether the properties of a 220 and a 284 was discovered by Ramanujan? Now actually this is a very common myth that was circulating for the past 9 or 10 years since I knew. Uh, the concept of the numbers uh, properties of 220 and 284 which were the, actually called the least amicable pair of numbers or friendly numbers was discovered actually by Pythagoras in the ancient Greek. Uh, around 2500 years uh, ago. It is so sad that it is wrongly attributed to Ramanujan. The idea is this, uh, the sum of divisors of 220 except 220 is 284 and if you add all the divisors of 284 except 284 you get back 220. So they behave like what true friends reveal each other. And this concept was first, of, first discovered by Pythagoras and not by Ramanujan as most of the WhatsApp messages were circulating in the recent past. It is not true. Kind of same question. So then has the Ramanujan constructed a magic square with this date of birth? No, certainly not. There were many magic squares and many messages and uh, many YouTube channels portraying this idea that Ramanujan discovered a magic square with this date of birth, namely 22, 12, 18, 87, as first row numbers. It is not done by Ramanujan. If you look at Ramanujan's notebooks, there is no such evidence of any such square. Of course, Ramanujan's first chapter is, begins with magic squares. But as far as we knew, there is no data but magic square in Ramanujan's notebook. He could have given some methods for constructing 4x4, four four. beginning with 3x3 three three magic square. He could have given some nice methods to construct 4x4 four four and 8x8 eight eight in higher order magic squares. But that doesn't have any, anything to do with data birth magic square. In particular, Ramanujan has not done anything related to this data birth magic square. That was done by later mathematics professors at Madras University. So it is not done by Does the AK machine function because of Ramanujan's idea? That is certainly false. AK machines uh, functioning has nothing to do with Ramanujan. Usually, again, uh, there is uh, widespread news in media and other channels, YouTube channels and several people claim that uh, Ramanujan made some partition functions ideas and those partition function theory was widely used in functioning of ATM but that is certainly not true. The reason is this, see once you uh, I mean, claim something as a partition, you count number of all possible ways of splitting a number. For example, if I want to 
to get thousand rupees in the bank in an ATM, the machine ATM machine can either give to five hundred rupees or five two hundred rupees, five notes of two hundred rupees or ten notes of hundred rupees and so on. But the denominations of those notes were kept before in the tray, and the ATM machine cannot give any other denomination apart from the available currency notes. But partition function is more general. It counts for all possible things, isn't it? So the number of partitions per hundred itself is more than two lakh. In fact, it's two lakh four thousand two twenty six number of partitions of hundred. So if you count that way, even if you Want to split hundred in that many ways? There are more than two lakhs ways. So partition directly has no influence on ATM machines. So it was a very very false uh, news, and uh, it's very unfortunate that this kind of ideas were prevailing for a long time in social media. Thank you, sir.